Hello everyone. So we have finally been able to finish painting the uh, Kitagawa Marin figure which was released recently and uh, honestly there were a few more uh, figures of her before this but uh, I wasn't able to obtain them for painting so I was kind of excited for this one. The moment it was released, I made sure that I got myself uh, two of them. But uh, unfortunately, I have to say that uh, I was a bit disappointed with the quality of the figure. It had uh, a few dents from the uh, production itself. As in, you could see from where the mold was released in the factory itself. So it was a bit disappointing. And uh, also I would say that I was a bit biased after uh, having worked on that figure from El Coco, Runa Shirakawa. Uh, that figure was like amazing quality and then all of a sudden I'm hit with this so my disappointment was a little more than I would be normally if, uh, if I had been working with uh, you know the same type of figures over time. But uh, either way uh since it had like a few things to be adjusted i had to work on uh, fixing them first with like sanding them down and then adding putty to fill up the dents and this wasn't only on one figure so it it was in both the figures that i bought so i don't think that this was like uh you know uh, a rare occurrence or something like that like some random defect i think this is like it's it's present in all the figures out there like I am uh, I, I would assume that that's the case so either way uh, as usual we paint it in cell shaded style and uh, this time it's a recording of of the painting itself try to keep a skin tone as light as possible because all the illustrations and stuff I see uh, she is shown to be very pale uh, so I, I decided to stick to that theme and uh, you know try to work with it a bit uh, also in the video anytime you see me adding something with a dropper it is either the retarder which is used to uh, prevent paint from drying quickly uh, or it is uh, thinner which also does the same thing but retarder i would say is a stronger solvent and thinner is this particular paint thinner i'm using is for paint brushing like for when you're working with paint brushes there is a separate thinner which uh, is used for air brushing but i don't i don't really get that i just add retarder with the thinner and it works just fine so those are the two i would say uh, thinning liquids or materials i use for my paints especially since right now it's quite hot and humid and uh, these paints tend to dry up pretty quickly so I have to you know make sure that uh, I have got the right flow to ensure that I can paint properly anyways uh, this was I would say this took a little extra energy from me I I don't know what it was maybe it was the quality that threw me off or uh, or just that I was tired from you know uh, painting figures but uh, it, it took a lot more motivation willpower to finish this but it, it did turn out pretty nice I if, if I will I were to say so uh, of course it's the process is the usual you know, I go with an airbrush over the skin and then paint everything else with brush. Of course, I have left out some of the parts from the recording. That is like when I paint the black, all the most of the flat colors, I would say. So when I painted the dress, I didn't really record it because it was just done with uh, paintbrush. And uh, I did paint some of the areas with an airbrush again. I had to mask the whole figure and then airbrush the black uh, I think I used it for the leggings so for the leggings I had to you know mask the whole figure and then paint it accordingly so 
yeah i am not a very big fan of masking because of uh, how much time it takes and you have to ensure that there are no gaps left otherwise you will have color leak from one region to another and uh, that spoils things so even in this one if uh, uh, i don't i don't know if i have posted any images i think i've posted in some images at some places but uh, just to you know give a general idea there was some color leak around the thighs which i had to fix later on so yeah that is why i'm not really a big fan of masking and uh, airbrushing hopefully i'll you know get better with that in the future but otherwise yeah this was uh, this was an interesting uh, figure to paint you know interesting challenge i would say not not something uh, i come across daily because of the uh, uh, i would say will power that it took to finish this so for the hair i i tried to uh, keep it as light as possible and uh, honestly on camera it looks a lot better actually after uh, after it was uh, done i had added like the top coat and everything i still wanted to uh, do a little bit more so i decided to add some white highlights on her hair and uh, the result is is actually quite nice i mean it's it's satisfying to look at so honestly if you ask me this is a smaller figure compared to others and uh, in general i wouldn't say it would take as much time it's uh it's it's a short work if you ask me on a on a good day it wouldn't take that long but either way i had to redraw the eyes which was uh, a bit of uh a bit of a pain i would say uh, eyes are always you know difficult because of the size but it's interesting because i could i managed to get uh, some good amount of detail in it and uh, to me it looks really nice so yeah that's uh, i would say that's all i have to talk about this the process at least because there is nothing really that special that i did in this it's all just mixing colors and figuring out what is good and what's not and i have i think i have repeated those things quite a few times in my previous videos so yeah and uh, of course now we can you know move on to uh, discussing about the character its uh, character itself so uh, i did post this up on a few places and uh, i was actually interested in knowing why people are so uh, uh, captivated by this character because uh, from what i can see there is a good amount of fan following for her uh, and uh, i i don't know i haven't been able to uh, keep up with the manga and anime from the beginning like i think i had started it then it dropped off and never had the time to go back so i was genuinely curious and people have uh, had very interesting things to say about her and her character in the in the comics or <laughs> i should say manga i shouldn't say comics but either way y you know what i mean so yeah it was uh, very interesting I, in in fact it's an ongoing discussion right now and uh, people are trying to give their input in these things and i would love to hear from anyone who's listening to this video as well i mean leave a comment tell me what you like about her and uh, hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one and yeah bye bye